Tom's Mr. Seth Sultan. Thank you. All right, you guys like comedy? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get that far in the class, damn it. Uh, so, as an aspiring comedian, I had my business cards made, and this is what they look like. <laughs> The recently completed road work on Ortega Highway actually began when they first built the mission. Did you know that? <laughs> it's good to be here in San Juan Cappuccino. Also known as San Juan Capo on a driver's license. Anybody live here? No? Does it not say San Juan Capo? Now, I read that in one survey, three quarters of the people said they liked their driver's license picture. And I was incredulous. I thought, no way, nobody likes their driver's license picture. So I thought about it, well, you're certainly younger. You're probably thinner. If you're a man, you probably have more hair. <laughs> certainly don't have less. Now, with all the Botox and cosmetic surgery going on out there, there are people that I know that I barely recognize. <laughs> in fact, vanity mirrors now say in cars, they say, objects and mirror are older than they appear. <laughs> I like South County. Uh, good schools, nice homes, a Starbucks every 1,500 feet, <laughs> by law. So, anyway, just give me a chance here. So, they actually have Starbucks inside Target stores. Did you know that? Are there so many that they have to hide them? What's the deal? <laughs> That's a nice pairing, isn't it? Starbucks, it's all about the ambiance and the service. Target's all about no ambiance, no service. That's like a Ruth's Chris inside a food court. <laughs> so, a string of bank robberies in Orange County was the work of an orthodontist. <laughs> Apparently he's trying to straighten out his finances. Now, not who you think of as a bank robber, but then again, I'm sure he's used to wearing gloves and a mask and receiving large sums of money. Now, criminals must be in great shape. You know why? They post bond, jump bail, skip town, and run. <laughs> When they're caught, they stand trial and they either walk or they serve time behind bars, spending most of it digging a tunnel or working out. <laughs> so I'm a math teacher in a blended learning environment, so-called because students roll in with a mocha frappuccino and who knows what blend they smoked the night before <laughs> in their head. I'm so tempted to just take some of these kids aside and say, look, here's how it works. Your motivation to do math is about down here to begin with. If you smoke pot and get high, it goes down to here, so it takes you down. Getting high means getting low, actually, so. Anyway, so math teachers are known for being just witty and engaging and funny. <laughs> Less than 1% of the time. And I'm what's called a statistical outlier, which means I'm atypical. Students ask, Mr. Sultan, when are we ever gonna use sine, cosine, in real life. And I say, you will. When you apply for a loan, you decide who's gonna sign, who's gonna co-sign. <laughs> I once taught personal finance and you learn things like what a Roth IRA is. So it allows you to take an early withdrawal, tax-free in case your career fades before you're ready to retire. It's actually known as a David Lee Roth IRA. <laughs> I teach comedy traffic school part-time uh, Part-time referring to the fact that some of the time it's funny and the rest of the time is more like a hostage situation. <laughs> Students come from all walks of life, all ages, occupations, FICO scores. But they all share two things in common. One, they're insured. Secondly, they have no desire to be there whatsoever. In fact, a guy came up to me during the morning break with a crisp new $100 bill. And he goes, what do you say you let me go? And I was like, no, that's illegal, it's fraud, how about 200? <laughs> People will say almost anything to avoid a speeding ticket. Um, like, 
one guy told the officer he's just, you know, just washed his car and he was trying to blow dry it. <laughs> Women can sometimes slurp the way out of it. Has anyone ever tried that? Maybe back in your youth? No one? Okay, so one woman said, officer, I heard pretty ladies don't get speeding tickets. And he's like, you're right, they don't. Can you sign here, please? <laughs> I'm just reporting, it's, it's a true story. Uh, so, you occasionally we get a question like, if you miss your exit on the freeway, are you allowed to back up on the shoulder? <laughs> now, I always wondered, if you're stopped for driving solo in the diamond lane, does the officer say, may I see your license, registration, proof of insurance, and your passenger, please? You're like, yeah, let me pop the trunk. My mother-in-law's back there. <laughs> Once I asked a class if they knew which age group had the highest crash rate, someone said, Asians? <laughs> Oh, they have the highest math scores. Okay. So my number one pet peeve, driving-wise, is not signaling. Well, occasionally these people will accidentally signal when legally required, but you just can't count on it. Now, a close second is people who signal during the lane change of the turn, but no sooner. As if to say, I know this serves no other purpose than just to annoy you. Okay. Now, the third group of uh, errant uh, signalers they signal, but they don't cancel. They, they drive on and you, it kind of becomes a game of, I wonder how long they can keep driving before they realize. And so I have this sign handy. <laughs> People really appreciate it. They're like, thank you. Now, the one time I tried flashing this sign, <laughs> I was greeted with middle digital communication. <laughs> Not so welcome. Cell phone violations are the equivalent of taking a selfie at a crime scene. That's more, that's stronger evidence than an eyewitness or a confession. I'm sorry, but you're guilty, okay? The vehicle code refers to wireless telephones. Do we need the term wireless? Isn't that a given? Or is there someone out there driving around with a landline like 50 miles before? <laughs> okay, regarding red light cameras, I know you guys are, you know, familiar with those. So it turns out that it's harder to collect the fines if uh, you receive a red light camera ticket because you never sign a promise to appear. If I tell a class that and then ask someone to repeat back what I said, they'll go, well, what you said is if you get a red light camera ticket, you don't have to pay the fine. No, that's not what I said. So they go around saying that as if, you know, you can just throw it away. Now, a long time ago, a guy received a red light camera ticket in the mail and it showed him running a red light and it instructed him to pay $150. So he wrote out a check for $150, took a picture of the check, and mailed the picture to the court. <laughs> and in return, he received a picture of handcuffs. <laughs> now, you could not pull that prank today. You know why? In the age of electronic banking, they would just deposit the check yeah. using the picture. Yeah. Now, if you're stopped for suspected DUI, the officer asks, have you had anything to drink tonight? In fact, have you had anything to drink this evening? Yes. You have, okay. Well, if you say no, you should probably just say, well, uh, can I see a wine list, please? <laughs> so, now, interestingly, you can no longer submit a urine sample if you uh, want to submit a sample of your uh, bodily fluids. Which I find surprising because there is no stronger evidence in, of recent drinking than having to pee really badly. <laughs> that might be probable cause right there. All right, so I'm going to leave you guys with these wise words. And actually, before I do that, come let me back up because I uh, kind of missed the boat here. I forgot to tell you something, which is the tip of the day, which is if you want to avoid getting a red light camera, here's what you can do. Okay, if the picture does not clearly identify the driver, they can't use it. So what you do is this. If you approach a stale yellow and you think you won't make it, at the very last moment, just unleash a blast of windshield washer fluid for maximum blurriness. <laughs> Don't say you learned it from me. <laughs> so I'll leave you these wise words. Keep your eyes on the road, keep your hands on the wheel, and keep your windshield washer fluid topped off in case you have a photo finish. Thank you very much. And Seth Sultan. Seth Sultan! Seth! 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 Seth Sultan!